God bless you. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's well. I want to quickly uh, quickly share something with you. It's been in my heart, and I know uh, you know a lot of different opinions, and people have been asking for my opinion. I know probably some of you are getting ready for work or whatnot, but um, I thought I would just uh, speak about this topic. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. Let's get some more people to log in on this topic <clears throat> and questions and comments and things of this nature. God bless you, everybody. Pastor Daniel with Zion Christian Ministries International. Um, share this, like this if you want, right? Um, uh, we had a great time in service yesterday, catching some of the some of the clips. I'll be posting some more stuff on yesterday's service. And tonight we have actually a Bible study, small Bible study. You come tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, we're going to be doing great things at 8, 8, 8 p.m. tonight. You come and check us out. And I'm going to always remind you, we have a lot of people that, um, some people that haven't registered for the John Ramirez event on Sunday. This Sunday coming up, we've got like six days left. Amen. All right, let me know if, if, um, if I'm still frozen and I'm driving. And let me know if you guys can hear me, amen? Okay. Um, this Sunday, catch us, man. We're going to have a great <clears throat> service. Um, and we're also, um, if, you, if you're a Spanish speaker, we're going to have an interpreter. So please, you know, come out. Don't let it discourage you. Um, God is going to move, amen? God's going to move Sunday. Uh, John Ramirez, a great event. One of the best events going on in your region in Miami, right? I'm going to set off with prayer and start because I kind of have to go. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for this beautiful morning. We wake up in thanksgiving, Lord, as we're uh, about to speak about this topic. I pray that you that your grace and your mercy um, just captivates us, Lord. Uh, that we walk in love in everything that we do. We walk in uh, not so much understanding, but we walk in revelation in what you're doing. In the name of Christ Jesus, Father. Um, thank you for those that are viewing and those that are about to view. Rebe shatere kinderamari. Father, uh, bless everyone that's uh, watching today. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, really quickly, we've been hearing, right? Um, you know, I, as much as we love the church, God bless. Uh, amen. Sometimes at the church, we can be a little nasty as Christians, right? We can be a little nasty. Uh, we don't believe things. Uh, we criticize things. We don't understand. Uh, we, we, we're we quick to judge. And I really want to uh, bring you a scripture as we're talking about the Kanye West topic. And let this bad boy go viral, whatever. Some people like put it on, on, on YouTube. Um, you know, all I know, my scripture tells me, uh, 1 Corinthians 4, 5, you can quote, not quote the word of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5, it says in the word of God, don't judge nothing before it's time, number one. So you ask me if this, if this is a major move of God with Kanye West, or if it's just a uh, fictitious, or it's a... Um, yeah, give me the first Corinthians first. First Corinthians 1 5. Give me that one, prophet. First Corinthians 1 5. I'm not gonna do that one yet. First Corinthians 1 5. Um, I'll do the Philippians one in a minute. Um, but the first thing is, you know, we, we can't judge nothing um before it's time. You know, we're quick to judge, we're quick to say, man, you know, God is doing a great thing, or God is using him, or he's a devil and he's a false prophet. Listen. Uh, before you judge and, and, and say yay or nay with Kanye West, have you prayed about it? And if he was Illuminati, if he was um, a devil worshiper, can God not change those people around as well? Can God not um, do something in Hollywood as well? I mean, I'm just asking. Is, is that too big for our God? to really radically change Kanye West? Is that too big for him? And some people say, no, it's, it's a publicity stunt. You know, it, it, he's a witch. Okay. But this is my question to you. Can God not change witches and warlocks? I'm asking, is, is, that, is that like a big task for God? Um, to my knowledge, Kanye West uh, has not killed any Christians. The Apostle Paul killed Christians. He would imprison them and he would persecute them and he became the biggest apostle, right? Uh, so when you when we talk about that, you got to ask: is is that too big for God? Is you know we're like, oh my God, you know, 
you know, he's this and he's that. We start criticizing and judging like God can't do this. Like God hasn't done this before, right? Like God has a good morning. Like God hasn't changed me before. You know, I see some of these comments people write on the on the Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, yeah, you know, devil worshipers. Okay, say they are. Is it too much for God and his his old um album Yeezy making fun of Jesus, right? But the Apostle Paul killed Christians. He murdered people that that, that said the name of Christ. And God called him, right? So before you go on this Kanye, I'm not saying he is or he's not. Yo, don't get it right. I'm not like, yeah, you know, he's going to be the best thing around. I'm not saying that. Why? Because I'm not going to place judgment before it's time. But neither do you place judgment before it's time. I mean, pray about it. Don't get, don't get so emotional and sucked up into this and be like, man, you know, he's from God. He's not from God. Your job is to be praying for the, for Kanye West and say, God, could it be? Could it be? And a lot of naysayers that are saying, oh my God, he's this and that. I, I, I got to question your faith. I got to question where your faith is at. Listen, only God knows the heart of man. You don't know if it's a publicity stunt. You don't know if, um, if, if God radically changed his life. Yeah, God could do anything for anybody, right? So before we go on this Kanye West thing and say, you know, he, he's the devil, or he's a devil worshiper, have you asked the Holy Spirit first before you go to your own intellectualism, your own reasoning, your own ideology, your own emotionalism? Did you consult with God first? And, and, and if you told me you consult with God, wait, wait until God gives you the answer. And time will tell. Time has a way of being a revealer of things. It has a way of revealing things, right? Of exposing things. All I know is this. There's going to be people in heaven that you didn't expect. And there's going to be people in hell that people didn't expect, right? Hey, where's pastor or preacher so-and-so? He didn't make it up here. He's in hell trying to find Bible verses to get him out. You know, um, we don't know. And you're going to see unexpected people in heaven. Like, how did you make it up here? How did you, you're going to see, guess what? God has a remnant everywhere. Remember that. He has a remnant in, in the media. He has a remnant in Hollywood. He has a remnant uh, in church. He has a remnant, just like Satan has witches planted in the churches that try to do damage to churches. God has a remnant everywhere. And I believe in this last apostolic boom. I'm not saying it's Kanye West or Justin Bieber or Brad Pitt, which they're professing to be Christians now, Right? They're professing to be Christians now. Um, give me a second, prophet. Don't post it up yet. Uh, you, I, I, well, you know what? You can post it up later for, for reference. You can keep it on there. Um, so my thing is, is that I think as Christians, we're so quick to judge and kind of not walk in love, right? Where is the, the love of God? You know, where is the mercy and the grace of God? I understand we're going to be, you know, you know, tense about it and, you know, I believe a lot of time the church, we walk in a spirit of suspicion. If, if, if we don't do things the way we expect things to be done, we have a suspicious spirit. Hmm, Kanye West, a Christian. Hmm, that's fake. I, you know, we have this spirit of speculation and suspicion and untrust that has crept in the church. Like, because, because they, 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 they don't, they don't um, have the same culture we have. They're like false prophets. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm glad you put that up, Prophet. My next verse was, my first verse was um, 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. Do not judge anything uh, uh, before it's time. Another one is Ecclesiastes, I like, when it says everything is made beautiful at its time. Meaning, let things work out. It's almost like a painting, right? You see a painting, you see black, white, all different colors, yellow, pink. But when the painting is finished, then you're able to appreciate the masterpiece. At times, you got to let things run their course. Right, um, and even if whether you hate Kanye West or you know, Pat, you know, don't you think we should pray for him and and pray um, that God does something in that Main Street Hollywood area with yeah yeah with all the globalists? You know, y'all quick to talk about. Uh, uh, look, sometimes I wonder about the revelation of the church. You know, you talk about presidents and about leaders. Listen, there is Illuminati. There are globalists. There's the dark agenda. I've been seeing some of y'all posts with prophets and apostles about 
about leaders. I'm like, man, this person's all dark agenda. And I'm like, do y'all even pray? Do some of y'all even pray and know the dark agenda? You know, it's crazy. I'm like, I'm like, some people, my people lack, you know, my people perish because of lack of revelation. I'm, I'm not here to knock nobody, but when I see some of the posts that prophets and apostles post, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, look, I respect you, man, or woman of God, but I'm like, sometimes y'all be posting stuff. And I'm like, do they pray? Are they really say? I mean, doesn't God speak to them? I mean, because a lot of time we get puffed up and we get puffed up with a lot of words. You know, we use these big words and we sound so intellectual and so theological. But I'm not talking about theology. I I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like, do, do you read the word and do you have rhema in you? Not logos. We have a lot of logos in us. We can talk real good. But we have the rhema built up that abides in us, the rhema of God, the revelation of God built up in us, right? Um, the second Bible verse I want to use is Philippians chapter 1, going to verse 18, uh, going to verse 15 and 18. Paul says, right? Uh, it is true that some preach Christ out of envy and rival, right? Others out of goodwill, right? So some preach God for like different, different reasons. Some preach Jesus because they want fame, they want money, they want a quarrel, they want rival for self gain, um, right? For whatever reason, they're preaching Christ. That's not between me and the preacher. That's between that preacher and when they face the judgment of God, whether it be Bema seat or great or great white throne. There's a difference between the Bema seat of Christ. That's the judgment that all Christians will go. We will all go before the Bema seat of Christ. Paul speaks about this. But there's the great white throne judgment. <laughs> Whichever judgment you're going to meet, God, you got to hold accountable of what was your motive and your intention for preaching. Paul said, that's not my that's not my that's not my job to judge or my responsibility. He says, verse 16, the latter do it out of love, knowing that I am put that I am here to defend the gospel. Right? Paul says, I'm here to defend the gospel of God. Um verse 17. So, but anyway, before I even go to verse 17, number one, know you are here to defend the gospel. You're not here to place judgment. Why the person is preaching, he's like from the devil. You are here to defend the gospel. That's that's point blank. You are here to defend the gospel of God. We are Paul says I'm in chains for defending the gospel. Not argue. You don't quarrel, but Paul reasoned with people. You, you got and that's why sometimes you got to know a little word on you because you got to know how to reason with people. But watch verse 17. He says the former preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, supposing that they can stir up trouble for me while I'm in chains. Some people um, um, preach Christ for selfish ambition to look good for how, or or whether it be to um you know whether it be for money you know a lot of people are like I don't listen to that preacher because all he wants is money he is a he he is just about the money okay but guess what a lot of people are getting saved let him deal with Christ on the day of judgment of the motive of him preaching who are you to say why or why he's not preaching or if they want money guess what. A lot of people are being saved. Watch verse, watch verse 18. But what does this matter? Watch what Paul says, the apostle. The important thing is that in every way, whether Kanye West is preaching for self-game, if it's a show, if it's a stunt, whether from false motives, listen to this, whether he's doing it for false motives or true, Christ is being preached. Heck, that's it, baby. Christ is being preached. And because of this, I rejoice. Y'all don't have word in you. Y'all don't, y I, I wonder, do y'all read the Bible? Do y'all really read the word? Oh, he's doing it for false motives. I don't go to that apostle because he's a, he's a gold digger. We, your job as a Christian is to rejoice whenever anybody's preaching the word of Jesus because people are getting saved. God is doing a boom in this last day movement. It's a vortex where God is taking the Pharisee and scribe and Sadducee spirit out and he's bringing Zacchaeus, Jesus to the tax collector, the prostitute washing Jesus' feet, that vortex where that religious spirit is coming out and God is doing a shift. Come on now. Your job is to rejoice. Where is my reference? Philippians chapter 1, verse 15 and 18. That's my reference. That's what I'm going by. I'm not going by my emotions and I got to, you got to rejoice if you hear Christ being preached. My, my word, the Bible says it. Whether out of false motives or true, it's not your, you're not in the beam of seat, it's, it's Christ's job. 
<laughs> you feel me? Y'all y'all placing judgment and celebrity this and you know it isn't that and that it's false. Paul says whether out of false motive or true. That's my opinion on Kanye West. Whether false whether false motive or true. Christ is being preached. He's preaching in colleges. He start what listen, it, let 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 Christ be the be the judge of that. Y'all a lot of Christians, y'all so y'all so y'all so fluffy. And every time y'all see something that's new, y'all get like, oh my God, it's the devil and it's a false movement and don't listen to him. It's a stunt, Kim Kardashian. Y'all quick to judge, man. Where is the, the Christ in you? And where is the word? But yeah, even walking in love, do you know word? Do you know scripture? Do you know scripture? Listen, I, I'm, not, I'm not even big in theology. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my doctor's degree. I just gotta finish my thesis. I've been in institute. I've been listen. I've been. I've been. I've been studying scripture. My grandfather graduated from seminary college, like seminary school, twice. I've been in. I've been in church since I was eleven. I've been preaching since I was twelve. So if you want to talk about Word of God, if you want to talk about Greek or Hebrew lexicon, if you want to talk about the eschatology of Revelation, we can do this. It's, I'm not some flyby preacher just came by and started preaching the word. I've been. I've been doing this since I was young. Learn your word. Learn what it says before you before you go ahead and 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 and, and pronounce judgment on somebody. Because I be reading some of y'all posts. I'm like, do they have word in them? Do they have rhyme in them? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, prophet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little emotional here. I'm gonna get a little emotional because I read some of this stuff and I'm like, do, do, do the people of God read the word of God? We in the last day movement. Paul says whether out of us motives or true, it's not your job. Your job is to rejoice. Your job is to rejoice. And I, come on, baby. Yes, Christ is being preached, even if it's false motives. Thank you, Kanye. Thank you, Kanye, for preaching the word of God and people getting saved. Because my Bible, 1 Philippians 15, chapter 1, verse 15 to 8, says, whether it's false motive or true, Paul says, the apostle Paul says, I rejoice because Christ is being preached. Hey, God, God, God. Amen. Last verse. I got to go, man. I'm running late. Um... Mark chapter 8, verse 38 and 41. Watch this. These uh, John goes to Jesus like, Jesus, we stop these people because they're rebuking devils. They're preaching your word. Come on, they, they got some of the religious spirit in them, right? Jesus is like, what you doing? If you could copy and paste that for me. I don't know if you did it properly. Let me see. Right there. You got it right here. Jesus says, do not stop him. <laughs> this is the word of God. Do not stop him. For no one does a miracle in my name um, and can it, the, and, and say anything bad against me. For whoever is not against me is for us. Truly I say to you, anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name because you belong to the Messiah will certainly lose their reward. It's not He's not doing it in his name. He's doing the name of Jesus. Why, why, are, we, why, why are we stopping him? Right, y'all have like this the, the disciple spirit, like Jesus, you know, we're like stopping this, this movement of people in Hollywood becoming Christians. Of the Brad Pitts becoming Christians, of the Justin Beavers doing worship services. They're fake. They're Illuminati. Okay, like, okay, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Prophet, did God talk to you about that? Or is that your own emotion? Because y'all very frickly. Y'all very quick to judge, and all of a sudden, y'all become midnight prophets. Come on, say, yeah, I did say midnight prophets, or overnight midnight prophets. Y'all become self-ordained prophets. Y'all all of a sudden, you get, get the prophetic anointing, and y'all just know the heart of people, right? We got to watch it, church. We're in a very sensitive season where God is going to do things that are going to go against the grain. Is gonna go against the grain, and and when you have that religious spirit and that Pharisee spirit, you're gonna be like, "Ouch! It hurts! It hurts!" Like, why is God doing that? Right? Your job is to pray. Number one, number two, get in divine alignment. Number three is to pray and fast and say, "God, I don't know what's going on. This Kanye West thing, I don't know what's going on." Yeah, Amen. I don't know what's going on, but I got to talk to God because I'm sick of people saying, I don't go to that church because that pastor asks for money or he, he just wants all money. It's not your job is to rejoice because I bet you in that ministry, thousands have been saved. <laughs> that I, 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 do we walk in rain? I, I think a lot of times we walk in, the church can be so judgmental. The church can be so cruel. 
I'm using the word cruel. I like that word. Little cruel people. Church can be so cruel, like you perfect. Like you ain't have a testimony. <laughs> okay, wow, look at that. Yes, I watched um Darren. I watched uh Kanye West service. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, to the point of tears. Yeah, that's what this is what I'm talking about. Look at this person validating validating Kanye West's um service. Like we don't you don't know what the Holy Spirit is doing just because it ain't the way you want it to be done. Get outside your little box. Listen, me and my for Kanye West against Kanye West, listen, I don't know his motives, even me me tapping in the prophetic. But forget me knowing the motives. My word says whether it's false, whether it's for selfish, whether it's for quarrel, whatever it's for, Paul says I rejoice. And listen, if you wanna for y'all trolls that wanna battle me on this, battle me on this and write. Because I'm going to go back to word. You could, you could probably be like watching many false prophets are coming in the day. Okay, false prophets that come to divide and they'll try to bring law back into the church. They will try to bring separation in the church. Kanye is not bringing separation in the church. He's just preaching Jesus. Look at that. Carla, I saw someone on IG who went to church because of Kanye West. You know what I'm saying? That this move, listen, it goes like this. This is what the Lord told me, and I'm gonna post this up. It goes from momentum to rhythm, from divine rhythm to divine habits, from divine habits to a lifestyle. This is a momentum, and we want to see if it's gonna become a rhythm. And then from a for divine habit, then from a purpose, a lifestyle. I, I'm, a, I'm a preacher. It's I'm a pastor. It's a lifestyle. Every Sunday, I'm going to church praying. I'm not. I'm not gonna be like, well, I'm not gonna go to church today because. You know, my dog got sick. Or my, I'm, I'm going to be, I got to, I've preached with, a, with like an upset stomach. I preach like having a cold and fever. You see me up there coughing and, and praying for myself and, and, and getting healing. Because that's my lifestyle. And nothing can stop. Going to the gym is my lifestyle. I go to the gym sick. That's a lifestyle. When you have a lifestyle, ain't no, y'all can't go to church, I'm not sure religiously, but constantly and committedly. Y'all can't be in the congregation because y'all don't have a lifestyle. This is my lifestyle. Y'all still in trying to make it a habit. All right? Mm -hmm. I got to go, man. It was a good topic. People been asking me, Pastor, what's your opinion on Kanye West? I've seen people like renowned people, people and evangelists posting stuff like, wow, you know, this is powerful. I see all the comments. Oh, he's false. And how dare you like follow this trickery? And it's a lie. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm being sarcastic I mean arrogant It just It hits me man It just hits me How How the Christendom community Can be like so Cruel And so judgmental And non-merciful We want to talk about love And come as you are And we're the first ones to like And it's not just some Christians It's like a lot of Christians All of a sudden Y'all want to Y'all want to become Masters of eschatology Watch for false day prophets. Y'all don't even read the book of Revelation. Listen, half of y'all not talking about Kanye West. Y'all don't even know the book of Revelation. I've studied the book of Revelation back and forth. And I, maybe I pride myself too much about that. Y'all don't even know the book. Y'all just, just talking stuff. Yeah, look. Marilyn Kanye West. And I'm glad you brought that up. You know how many prophetic people have spoke about this movement? From Kanye West, specifically in general, from Kanye West, even to Trump, even to um, Justin Bieber, they're, 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 people prophesied this. This is not just something that appeared. People have prophesied this because God still has a remnant that knows things that are going to happen before they happen, before seasons. Stuff has been prophesied. Not only the word of God, but stuff has been prophesied before this event took place. It's in the prophetic frequency it's in the prophetic um direction the prophetic river the prophetic wave the prophetic movement right god speaks malachi god speaks to his prophet he establishes things to his prophet believe the prophets and you will prosper well i'm having my protein and coffee cool i mean it's all right i got this drink it's coffee cold brewed coffee with protein yeah it's different but you know it's drinking it Anyway, look.
I gotta run. I'm praying for y'all. Um, we had a great service last night. We had communion. I'm glad people are having revelation. Tell God to speak to you about the situation. Time will tell. Listen, if Kanye West, does, Kanye West does this for, I guess, maybe a few weeks or a month or two and goes back to secular music, hey, what's the worst that happened? <laughs> a few thousand of people got saved and started believing Jesus, right? What's the worst that can happen? Okay? And I see, I think God is doing a shift, you know? I believe God is doing a shift in Hollywood. I believe the God is doing a shift with celebrities because I believe our God can do that. Our God can do that. And I believe they're going to expose. Some people will be exposing the dark agenda. Some people will be exposing things that are going on. Right? So, I got to go. I pray protection over you. Protection over me. Um, um, share this on the Kanye West. Post it. Like, I believe there's going to be a lot of views on this one. Some people like put it on YouTube. Look at that. Praying for Justin Bieber and the family. Well, you know, Justin Bieber's mother is very prophetic. Um, I believe she got a word in Bethel Church, something like that. A prophet, I think, confirm it. You heard it. Um, yeah, very prophetic. She's been praying uh, for Kanye West even when uh, she was in the womb, when he was in, in her womb. He even got prophesied to Justin Bieber, right? So these are things, man, that God does not go back in his word. God, God is gonna, God's gonna do a, a holy cleansing, and yes, I believe in holiness, and I believe in righteousness, and I believe in cleansing, but I believe also that God can do a movement to save many people because God, you know what the Word of God says? Peter says, and y'all can write this one down. My, my last quote: God wishes that none perish, nobody. So if God, 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 got to raise a Kanye West and just be and Brad Pitt to preach to people. So that none could perish because God don't want people going to hell. God loves everybody. John 3, 16. All right? Question, comments. I got to go, man. Question, comments about this. I ain't got no trolls here. Oh, God be the glory. And at least not yet. Yeah, the prodigals are coming. Amen. Good word. Prophet Yobi has always been saying the prodigals are coming. Uh, Okay, no trolls. Amen. God be the glory. I'm like, <laughs> I think sometimes people don't want to troll me. They're like, this pastor looks... Pastor looks a little radical. I don't, I don't think I want to mess with him. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm going to close out with some tongues. Tongues. <laughs> In the name of Christ Jesus. I pray a prophetic cleansing. I pray a prophetic uprising. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that God says, I still have many that are known in, in the secular that I will rise, says the Lord, that I will birth, says the Lord. Many will be surprised, says God. But God says, don't be shocked when I raise them because it is my power. It is my anointing. It is by my hand I raise them, says the Lord. God says, do not undermine them or do not reject them. For God, for God says, I, I will rise them because God says, there is nothing too small for me or nothing too big for me, says the Lord. God says, I move in different times and in different seasons. God says, I'm bringing a Cyrus anointing for Cyrus in Isaiah 45 was not even a Jew but a Gentile but I showed him the treasures in the dark places I gave him vision God said I will give vision to those I choose to give vision I will favor those those to those I choose to give favor on in the name of Jesus Rebekita. I pray for you share this like this have a great day I prophesy you will have a great day in the name of Jesus Amen. Have radical passion for Jesus. Have radical love. What about that one? Have radical forgiveness. What about that one? Have radical mercy. Hmm? Have radical humbleness. Yeah. Have radical acceptance. Accept them. Love them. Pray for them. Some of y'all should be fasting for Kanye West. Fasting for God. Y'all should be happy that God is rising people from those calibers to validate. And say yes to gospel. Your job, like Paul says in First Philippians, is to defend the gospel. Defend, defend. Reason. Amen. Love y'all. God bless you.